Okay, welcome back. I'm prepared. I might be prepared. Who knows? Got a little drink. Just water, colored water. You know, nothing special. <clears throat> Brought my spectacles. I got my spectacles just in case. Um, well, because every time I forget my spectacles and I can't read anything. So <clears throat> these are like CVS, you know, like 10 for $2 or something like that. So who knows if they're going to work. I got three boxes here. So I think I'm going to do three different videos. It's been a while since I've done one. And um, I'm going to pretend I'm busy by doing three videos. You know what I mean? As opposed to just putting them all in one. So <clears throat> for a while, my son, Matt, was back from school. So he actually uh, is... Uh, in medical school <laughs> smarter than the old man apparently mm, no but anyway so the the uh basement where i normally do the videos which is a finished basement it's also kind of a man town basement and uh, matt took that over when he started getting a little bit older and uh, when he comes back he retakes it over so it was a disaster area for the last oh seven or eight weeks while he was back uh, from school uh, that's his last summer off. Now he's uh, <clears throat> officially in adulthood uh, about seven or eight years after most people are. But, you know, the medical school path, you're in school for so long, you, you know, you don't realize everybody actually has jobs and gets up in the morning, that kind of stuff. So I, I think you may have seen the video that uh, when I did this room over, this is my uh, daughter Amanda's old bedroom. It's her old bookcase back there that uh, wasn't in this room. It was actually... Um, in an apartment, her first apartment, she had two of those, Ikea, and when she moved into her present apartment, uh, there just wasn't enough room for both of them, and I'm like, damn, hmm. and I got thunking, and I was saying, hmm, let me thunk some really good stuff here, and I did, because all my comics were upstairs in the attic, um, you know, close to 5,000 of them, and it's not really perfect, I mean, it's, it, it's you know, it's a relatively dry attic, it's a clean attic, uh, again, relatively speaking, and, uh, you know, um, it doesn't have critters and the such, but it is an attic, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you know, most of my books, when you have 5,000 books, I don't know, 44, 4,600 of them are worthless, you know, dollar bin stuff, that's just kind of uh, the nature of the beast. But I have a bunch that uh, I do have some value or ones that have, you know, intrinsic or just, uh, um, I guess, uh, sentimental value for me that I was like, look, I don't want them deteriorating up in the attic. So I'm like, How, where can I put them? What can I do? Short story long, uh, this is what I did. And so uh, this will be my first video in this room. I did do a video of the room when I was kind of doing it. And I, I made changes again just because, like, you know, I've got ADD. And so uh, I, uh, um, I think it looks good, you know, it, um, hopefully it looks good. I've got my phone on the bench over there and I have no idea whether it sees me or not. So either I'm going to waste the next 15 minutes and have to do it again, or I'm going to pretend like I knew what I was doing. All right, so this one here, so, so what, anyway, what I was doing while, while Matt was here, I was just storing any of the stuff, you know, a lot of you guys that uh, watch this uh, have the same kind of disease that I have that, that uh, we call collecting. And so while I collected some stuff, um, I just put it aside and I figured, hey, I'll, I'll do some videos after. Uh, I'm not the only one to do that, but uh, that's why I've got some boxes here. So this one here is big time collectibles. What is kind of cool about this is, <laughs> honest to God, I have no idea what's in any of these boxes. I mean, maybe I have like an idea, but I, I really, I really do forget. I'm kind of a, <laughs> I don't know. So, so we'll all be surprised, right? And um, hopefully at least one of us, me, uh, likes what's in the boxes. So uh, we'll find out. So <clears throat> let's open this baby up. I will say, I just thought of the fact that I've got an unknown comics box here and I'm going to do that. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll separate the videos, but um, they do a good job of um, packing. I think Big Time Collectibles does the best. I, I, I you know, mentioned that in a video or two. Um, not only do they do a good job protecting, it's not a bloody mess. You know what I mean? Like, like you don't have peanuts everywhere. You open the box, it's a sturdy box already. Inside the sturdy box, if you can get it, is another sturdy box. And then, 
one sturdy box alone or, or uh, aside and you got the next sturdy box blocking the camera nice move honey yeah that i'll put that in the b-roll that'll be the b-roll camera block and so uh you know they put a box in a box in a box you know it's like a and a half and so these i gotta presume are just uh regular books boarded uh, bag but not uh slabs so i'll do the slabs first because i see them right there or see one of them i've got my uh invoice here should i put my spectacles on all right i'll put my spectacles on all right so i'll tell you what i got first or should we make it a surprise ah you probably don't hear any surprises you know like if it, if it was like a a CGC unboxing where we're hoping for a good grade. I don't know what it is. We're all kind of screwballs because when I'm watching and somebody gets a bad grade and they're dying, I kind of die with them. And when they get a good grade and they're like, yeah, I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> I don't know, figure it out, bunch of weirdos. All right, so I've got the Disney 100 variant uh, six pack. I think that's part of a Spider-Man set. I've said this a thousand times, but I'm, I'm not a um, you know Spider-Man guy, of course collect so i've got spider-man stuff um and then i've got an amazing spider-man number 23 um which is a 100 infinity gauntlet variant uh cgc 9.8 sweet i will tell you obviously the bad thing about buying a 9.8 is it's gonna you know run you anywhere from 100 bucks to sky's the limit um when it's already a 9.8 i'm talking retail not not like you know buying a somebody's book that they got graded but um the benefit is like you know you know what you got right <laughs> you got a sweet book so um no surprises but nice so now we've got uh wow we're gonna have to try to pronounce this one pastrovicchio pastrovicchio so i'm sure he's a <clears throat> i'm guessing he's italian i should know because i'm italian but pastrovicchio that uh, or it could be yeah vicchio and um, he's got uh, Disney 100 variant as well, which is Amazing Spider-Man number 19. I'm not sure which one that is, but we'll find out in a second. Fantastic Four uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider. It's a um, Ghost Rider variant. It's uh, Fantastic Four. Brooks Return of the Fantastic Four. So those, those are all the individual books. So those I'll just open up one at a time and we'll look at them because I've got a few others on here, but I don't want to overly bore you i don't mind boring you a little bit because like i put up with people boring me you know and, you know so but anyway this one here this one here is the amazing spider-man 23 it is uh from june of this year which is 2023 uh zeb wells story john romita jr and scott hannah art lorenzo pastorvicchio cover um and lorenzo if i'm beating that up Listen, you know, my family anglicized their name. <laughs> Help us out, will you? All right, so uh, Amazing Spider-Man 917, Disney 100 variant cover, Infinity Gauntlet number one uh, cover homage. And, well, you guys all know I'm a soul surfer guy. And so that's why I bought this one because even though the Infinity Gauntlet series is ne not necessarily my number one, I, I, I like the individual Silver Surfer stories, like um, whether it's a Silver Surfer Black, you know, short, uh, uh, you know, run, or the graphic novels, those kind of things. I think they've just done a better job of those. You know, uh, the first series was great. A lot, maybe the beginning of, um, actually, you know, Volume 2, that one shot was a, a good story. Uh, and, you know, maybe the beginning of Volume 3, but then it really just kind of, I don't know, it just, it went off the rails for a while in my mind. But, but um, this is, we used to be a Disney family. Um, Disney Vacation Club owners. My kids have been to Disney 25 times or so. I mean, that's what we did. Disney was our thing. And then Disney just, Disney went off the rails. And, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna get political or anything with it, but um, I gotta tell you, when we started going to Disney 25 years ago, you felt like you were a king and a queen. I mean, uh, it didn't matter if, if you were worth two bucks or two billion bucks. They just treated you like you were special and, and you felt special. They were just wonderful vacations. And that went on for, 
about 15 and 25 years, and then like just gradually for the last 10 years, it just took them, took them, took them. And, and like, it's, it's ungodly expensive to go there, like ungodly expensive. And to be treated average is a kick in the butt when you're spending ungodly money. To be treated, you know, worse than if you were just at a, you know, a local Marriott just, just for an overnight stay, um, that's, that's not good. And so unfortunately, um, that's, that is our experience and it's an honest one. I mean, like, because we were a cult Disney family, but we haven't totally given up because that's really creative. I like it, I like it a lot. So um, I'm pleased with that one. Put that over there and let's see what we got in this box. We're gonna break up, yeah, more knives, more cutting. I, I will tell you that uh, <clears throat> the cardboard industry and the tape industry must love the comic book industry. Yeah. In the mylar industry as well, yeah. All right, I know I should be going the other way, but can I tell you? Did I, block, did I block the camera again? Probably. All right, more tape. Good, you know, don't move around and get the tape. I get it. Bad because knuckleheads like me hate taking all the tape off because I'm impatient. And when you're impatient, you tend to make mistakes. And when you make impatient mistakes with comic books, you take things of value and turn them into things with no value. The good news is, most of what I have doesn't have a lot of value anyway. The bad news is, I probably got a piece of tape stuck once or twice on things that do have value. Whoopsie! You know, I'll blame that. I'll, I'll pretend I bought it that way, right? Uh oh, the deck is shuffling. All right, done. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay. So I do buy multiples, it's because I'm a leftover, I'm not a 90s kid, I'm a 70s, 80s kid, but um, I was collecting in the 90s, probably 88 to 98, give or take in that range. Took 20 years off, blah, 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 right? But, um, you know, because of Image Comics and everybody else going nuts during that time, we all bought multiples, and I bought multiples. And so, I like this one, so I bought three of them, um, you know, cheap enough and if you're a fantastic four fan which i am i'm not i'm not a cult fantastic four fan i'm a silver surfer cultist but um you know this is obviously a, a, a great homage again so i like it and i'm glad to have it this one here because i'm not going to do any uh this is the batman and joker run the deadly duo and Book number five, I don't know anything about the story, but uh, who doesn't like Batman and who doesn't like the Joker? And I like the cover, so I bought it. <laughs> Am I gonna read it? I'll get back to you on that, I'll get back to you on that. All right, so that's that for that box. Nope, I was wrong, I lied. That's that for that package within that box. Let's open this one up. By the way, is the comic industry kind of a Debbie Downer situation right now? I mean, like, <laughs> I, I started buying again just because during COVID everything was going bananas, right? And you could you couldn't not hear about it, whether it was something on the news or if you were, you know, doing YouTube or whatever. Not not having your own channel, just like, you know, checking things out. Not not comic related, anything. All of a sudden, something would show up, and then finally, like, I, you know figured out, huh, comic books are hot. And I'm like, wow, some of my stuff has got some real value. You know, I mean, I, I've got the Silver Surfer run. I've got, I, I got all the Silver Surfer runs. And so, um, you know, I mean, I got like five fives and sixes, maybe fives and four fives, and pens, a couple eights, you know, in the first run. So, I mean, I mean, they got some value, you know what I mean? Like I don't have an 8.0, I got like the, you know, the Spider-Man one is an 8.0. I think that's Silver Surfer 16, which is good, right? But Fantastic Four 48 is a 5.5, not an 8.0 or 6.0 or something like that. Um, but I got them all, you know? So I was like, geez, maybe I'm rich. You know, 
No. And, but it did, um, it reignited the bug and here I am, you know, some <laughs> screwball doing YouTube channel and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, you know, blame my daughter. She started it. Okay. All right. So, oh, speak of which, um, I'm going to, I'm going to post something on my daughter. She does a lot of stuff from, she did a lot of stuff with me in the beginning just for fun. But, uh, you know, when she moved off and, and whatever else, so she's got her own TikTok channel and whatever. And. She's got a couple viral, uh, yeah, I know. I mean, I'm not gonna get 20 people to watch my videos, um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna post one or two of hers because a couple of them are really funny and they won't go viral on YouTube just because the algorithm's, you know, different. And, you know, there's 20 people that look at my videos, so it's unlikely to blow up, but I think you'll enjoy it. They're kind of fun. All right, so uh, you may recognize this one. So uh, I got the raw, so like, if I do want to read it, huh? See that trick there? I know. And so, again, another great homage cover. And that one there is, uh, I don't know if it says on here what, what actual comic it is, but you know, it's the part of the Disney 100 there. And what if Goofy was exposed to gamma rays? I think Goofy already was exposed to gamma rays. Explains a lot, you know what I mean? So not an Avengers guy, but um, obviously I'm familiar uh, with that as well. And I think it's creative again. Uh, apparently I must have liked this one. <laughs> I told you guys about the disease, right? All right. So I think Iron Man is the most overrated character ever. Go ahead, sue me. No, no you're right. Maybe Spider-Man is. Nope, maybe Wolverine is. Anyway, um, I digress. But that's a cool ass cover. Okay? I mean, it, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I don't think the original of this was great, so I don't think this one's great. But um, it, it's still, I, I got them all. Well, I think I got them all just because I like creativity, you know? And I think the comic book industry right now is lacking in such when it comes to stories. However, I do not think it is lacking in creativity when it comes to um, art. Um, I've said this a number of times, and I'll say it again. The artwork in today's comic book world is through the roof, over the top, crazy, nuts, good. And so um, I've got more patience with admiring great art than I do with reading terrible stories. Okay? Ha! That's my two cents. All right. We have another full box. So let's uh, see what we got in here. See what I bought that I don't remember that I bought and that I can't explain why I bought or what it is. Or, uh, you know, a lot of times, like, <laughs> uh, you guys might do this. <clears throat> With companies like uh, uh, Big Time, if you go, I think they're either 150 or 100 and a quarter. You know, you spend that much money and you get free shipping. So what do I do? That's right, I spend that much. <laughs> you guys are pretty smart. You guys, you knew that. So anyway, um, a lot of times you'll get books that are, I pretend they're spec books, but really they're just fillers. You know, they're just me saying, hey, you know what? Yeah, that looks kind of cool. I'm gonna buy it so I get free shipping. No, no, you're probably right. That's probably not a really good business model. Probably not good collecting um, expertise, but it works for me, it works for me. You know, what it does is it gives me time to be alone with my tape and my bags and boards and um, with you guys, you know? And I hope you think it's as special as I do. Um, you can see why I ruined books. Not so dainty, I guess. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. So, oh. All right, so I got this one specifically because everybody that's stealing the cosmic idea that the Silver Surfer has, I have like a bittersweet relationship with. First of all, I love Ghost Rider in general, even though I don't read them, you know, I think the Ghost Rider is just cool. But Cosmic Ghost Rider, of course, I'm, I'm mad as hell because how come everybody gets to 
you know, be the silver surfer except the silver surfer. They get to do all the cool stuff, the bad stuff, the crazy stuff or whatever. And, and then the silver surfer just, you know, stays the silver surfer. Anyway, um, so my bittersweet relationship with that means I buy stuff when somebody else decides that somebody else is going to have cosmic power. Um, this is damn, damn cool. And so, I mean, I know, I mean, whoever did that is, you know, you know, <laughs> right? But uh, anybody that does stuff great is probably a little, <laughs> right? That's why, that's why the rest of us admire them so much. So I got this, um, not to read it, it's another deadly duo, duo um, just because I love it. It's just beautiful. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, <laughs> I, you know, sometimes I'll be filling with unknown comics. Sometimes I'll be filling with big time collectibles and whoever else. And so I'll get, you know, comics that I have. I'm sure back there somewhere, um, one of these is sitting there. But I do think even though the Ghost Light storyline was a disappointment, I do think that this is a badass cover. Call Me Strange. That's Planet of the Apes, okay? Planet of the Apes was cool. If you're my age, that's before people understood that technology might come around someday. Now, I know, now that it's here, you look back at the original Planet of the Apes, you're like, what, what was I watching? But, still cool. All right, so I might have mentioned something about being a meatball and buying extra stuff and just want you to know I wasn't lying. I am exactly the meatball. So three more of those beauties. Um, if you want me to explain it to you, I cannot. Don't, oh, well, I can explain this one. I love the cover. <laughs> All right, so somebody else that's demented, <laughs> you know, and it looks like, it looks like the same artist just because the eyeballs look the same. I mean, I, I, I know that sounds like, well, what, huh? But the first thing I noticed in the last one was, was the eyeballs um, and Let's just see. I mean, not exactly the same, but I don't know. You know, I'll look it up later, find out if it's the same artist. But uh, nonetheless, whoever the artist or artists are, they're badass. That's what I know. All right. I like this cover a lot. Really do. I mean, um, you know, it, it's a take, obviously, on Fantastic Four 48. Uh, maybe maybe not obviously to everybody, but obviously to, to me, um, I think it's a better cover than Fantastic Four 48. Um, it's, um, you know, and it's just because it's modern, got technology. Uh, uh, you know, it's easier to rip off somebody else's creativity and make it better, right? That's why they have cover songs and music. Oh, the disease is continuing. So I got a few of those. But again, I'm glad because I like him. And you know what? I'm going to read this story because every single cover that I've seen for this story, it's like crazy great. I mean, like how, how good is that, right? And, and I'll be honest with you, the last Batman I read might have been, uh, God, it might have been Frank Miller. I mean, you know, it's been a long, long time. But, you know, of course, I watched the Batman movies and that. And uh, I think, you know, the dark version of Batman is dark and awesome. So, um, I, think I, I think I will. I'll read that one. All right, so that's all I got from Big Time Collectibles. Um, I think... Uh, Overall, uh, worth the wait, I'll, I'll be honest, um, because of the fact that I won't be reading anything other than the Batman, it's, it's a little, you know, anticlimactic, uh, except for the fact that, you know, th this will be, you know, a display one, because, um, you know, because it's cool. It's cool. All right. That's it. Signing out. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to do, I'm going to do, uh, I, you know, I'll do the messy one next, okay? Unknown Comics next. All right. See you in a minute.